old farmer Dre back at it. We're gonna go ahead and start off day two of planting strawberries. I am out here. I'm gonna water these and make sure these are nice and moist. Hopefully today, Lord willing, we'll get done with the Sweet Charlies and start on the Ruby June. So let's go ahead and uh, start watering these. idea and the point of doing this is the plants are going to start lifting up and they're going to start looking a whole lot better uh be easier to plant this way so they would have you know they're straight up to the sun and then they're not as uh, the transplant shock won't be as bad so you know so compared to last night they're looking real good and hopefully by uh this afternoon they'll be looking a whole lot better we'll come back to normal keep these nice and water though the roots are continually continue to grow here it's gonna be nice and good right here so yeah I wish we could do all the plants, but we only have these two wagons. We have uh, the greenhouse is empty now. We had um, had that emptied, but you know you got to put on the ground, lift them back up, water them. So we're just hoping that we don't, we're not going to need to do that, and just uh, keep them as is here. Boy, hope they didn't spell too bad. There you go. Yo, Adi, Adi. Uh, how many more plants on here? We gotta get at least one more road done here. What's that? Let's put more plants out here so we could uh, get it done. So we got another 3,000 sweet Charlies to go and then we'll be done. But uh, we just concocted this idea together. Uh, Adrian and I just did. I just got back from the store and connected it. We actually just tried it out. But uh, before we had to connect the water up top and it, if the pressure was too high, it would leak everywhere. So we just drilled a two inch hole there, put this adapter, ball valve, connector, quick connect. All we do, come over here, connect real fast. We load up the plants and then we just uh, go on with our lives. So it makes our life a whole lot easier just to do this. And of course it makes it safer. But yeah, it's, uh, it's coming two inch pipe out of the ground. So right now, whenever the tongues get empty, then we uh, straight out of the ground, 35 gallons a minute. As easy as can be, 150 gallons, nice and full without having to drip everywhere. So this right here is a pretty genius idea. Quick attach, now we've got to drain it real fast, just on the two inch valve valve and that's it. So loading up, this is our last pallet there of Sweet Charlie. So we got two, two more trips or two more loads and we should be good to go. So yeah, slowly and surely we'll be done with Sweet Charlie. And then we jump on to Ruby June. It'll be, Ruby June should go pretty quick. They're, uh, they're actually not going bad. The problem is we, uh, we're busy in the farm store. We got a lot of people calling. A lot of people complaining. A lot of talking and no working. You know how it goes. Yeah, so we have eight boxes or nine boxes. Hey, how many more flats do we need? Is that box full over there? Is it full or what? Hey, hey, there's another space right there, boy. On top of Anna's. Here. One more here, and then we'll be done. Here you go.
Man, I am so surprised how easily this works here. Pretty legit. Pretty legit. Love it when we gotta fill up. Hey, bring me what's called fertilizer in the uh, plants. Out here watering the uh, plants out here again. Make sure everything's nice and wet. Nothing dries up too fast. So yeah, takes a couple minutes, but it's a job that needs to get done. Water twice a day so that everything looks good. So back out in the field, we got a few more Sweet Charlie's to finish and then we will be done. But I wanted to give you guys a complete walk through here of how you should plant your strawberries. And it's more important about how deep you plant them and how deep the crown can be. So let me go ahead and show you guys a perfect example. I mean, they're all pretty much perfect here, but uh, they're looking good now. I had a question earlier about the middle of the rows and do we come back through and tiller it or work it up? I was like, nah, once the tractor goes up and down planting, it levels out pretty good. So whenever you're planting, I'm gonna get down on one knee here, proposing to the strawberry plants, the ideal, uh, you know, the ideal depth to go is the same level where that you know that that that, that potting mix is is perfect you know like right here that crown is on top and the soil there you can't really see it that well but it's right at perfect level this is these are perfect you might get one or two yeah uh, like this one right here whenever you plant this one wasn't pinched hard enough and you see how that is sticking out the bottom of the roots is fine but that top one there uh, the crown isn't a hundred percent on there. So ideally you want every single plug to be the same level as a soil or the top of where the potty mix ends right on top of that cell there to be right at the level of the soil on here. And 90, 99% of them are going through uh, perfectly. You know, that's what you want to see. You might get your occasional one that sticks out or something but you know it's just uh the ideal is put that crown at the same level of the soil as it is in the in, in the cup or in the, in the little cell count tray as in the soil so uh, you don't plant it too shallow then you don't get the uh perfect crown development it's gonna have a hard time it's gonna struggle and then if you plant it too deep then those crowns once again they're gonna have hard time developing because it's gonna push out to, through too much soil so, you know, right at the soil level, get that crown right at the soil level, that'll be perfect. So we're, we're doing a really good job of doing it. It's not uh, it's not something too hard to do, but if you uh, get in the rhythm of, of doing them wrong, you're thinking you're doing them right, and then at the end of the day, you're kind of, you're, you're harming yourself more than good, than what good you're doing. So that is uh, planting 101 uh, for today, is make sure that crown, that baby crown is at the same level of the soil in the bed as they are in the cell. So make sure there's plenty of soil there so it doesn't get messed up. Look at this right here. We got grass growing. The annual ryegrass is starting to germinate. Looking good. Not too bad. So what happened whenever I was irrigating these, we uh, punched the holes, put water through them, then water spray spread all through here. So. They got a little bit of moisture and they're germinating. We got this load and then another four boxes and we are done with Sweet Charlie. And then I'm not sure if we, we got to go through and bottle cider for tomorrow, but tomorrow after market, we're going to come back and start on those Ruby June. <music> 